new strain of uh, coronavirus is considerably more infectious than the last strain, but the new rules regarding coronavirus lockdown are... I don't know if you'd stick a considerably in here, um, largely because, like you, I'm not 100% clear on what the new rules are, but they are more relaxed than the last lot of rules. Why do you think that is? The Home Secretary was asked several times last night, and, and here is her answer. Well, first of all, the rules are clear. The rules are firm in terms of staying at home. And with that, of course, Dan, I think you've, you've been showing some news bulletins recently of breaches that have been taking place and you've been out with the police and others. So you'll know the difference between those individuals that have been compliant and those that are breaking the rules. The rules are tough enough. You've already heard 45,000 fixed penalty notices that have been issued, you know, just in the recent time since, since we've been in this pandemic. So they are tough enough. You know, the message is clear. We urge everybody to continue to follow the rules. The more we follow the rules, the sooner we can drive this awful, atrocious disease down. And the reason why we have these rules are to absolutely try and contain the pandemic and to save lives. So, you know, by sticking with this, and that is the message to everyone again and again, stick with the rules, think about your actions, stay at home, stay local, and minimize your social contact. And of course, we will get on top of this pandemic. And importantly, we'll be able to protect the NHS so that the NHS can continue to look after people that are ill with coronavirus and also roll out the vaccine in the way in which we're now seeing this incredible mass vaccination take place across the NHS. I, I, all right, let's give her one more go. This is, this is her first answer to the question of why are the rules more relaxed if the strain is more infectious? Well, Ian, thank you. Um, let me start off with that, first of all, and then um, I'll, I'll bring Martin and Dr. DeWalker in. I think it's really important to reflect, quite frankly, on the state that we're in right now. And you've heard my remarks, Martin, and Dr. DeWalker's comments about the impact of COVID, and not just this new variant, but actually all the measures that we have put in place and why we need to have these rules. I think our message is absolutely crystal clear. This is to stay at home. And if I may, Dr. DeWalker's made a very very, very sobering point that we should all act like we have COVID in order to protect others. And this isn't about rules being more relaxed. We have clear rules. And I would urge everybody across the country to make sure that we follow those rules so that we can protect the NHS and save lives. I think that's absolutely imperative. Dr. DeWalker, did you want to add anything to that? No, thank you, Home Secretary. Great. I, I can't remember who I was interviewing when I... I, I you, sometimes when you're interviewing politicians, you... You have a little internal voice that says, well, should I do that? Would that be fair? Would that be reasonable? I'm pretty sure it was a politician. I could be wrong. Um, and it must have been on telly because I've got a mental memory of the visuals in the studio. And I just said, that's just word salad. That's just a bunch of words that you've managed to sort of string together in a relatively meaningless way. But there may have been meaning behind the words. Maybe I'm just not very good at decoding salad and you are. So what is the answer to the question? 